world <laughs> lit. And you may say, like, how does that help me for what I yeah. want to do? Because we look at that like, how can that help me with broadcast media? Mm -hmm. But, you know, actually getting your writing skills on point or actually getting into the point for reading, because in our majors, you have to look, learn how to read yes, and understand you what you're reading. And yes, you remember you how do. we were talking about science. You know, yeah. if you're reporting and you're going to school to do like a science event, you having a science class, like you understand some of those terms and you end up write like your segment or write like your report on that. Yeah. So it actually does set with like some of those classes, but sometimes in some class I do be like, why am I here? Like I <laughs> ask myself that, but you know, it's here to get the education. And then yeah. I thought about this too, like, okay, so if you second guessing why you're here, and then, okay, to pick it back, another thing that you were saying, okay, so if you decide that, okay, college is not for me. I don't know why I'm here. I don't want to be here. And you go make quick money. Are you going to be doing the thing that you really love to do? That's a good point. Because, like, really, you're not. Because I know if I probably wasn't going to college, I don't, I'll don't. i probably just be sitting at home or trying to do, like, some quickly. Because, you know, <laughs> I was actually, like, on Facebook last night. And it was, like, um, you can comment info. Like, you can uh, post ads every week and get $80 a day. And that's, like, $500 some dollars okay. a week. But, you know, that's not what I want to do. Yeah. I have talent yeah. that I want to <laughs> just show the world. Yeah. So, you know, why would I do that? But, you know, sometimes, like, what we want to do now you have to have a degree. Like, I'm yeah. not going to be able to go to a news station and just with my high school diploma. And talk yeah. about your talk about your experience because, like, both of us, we both were interns at a news station. And, like you said, they're not going to – you can't go up to a news station and say, hey, I want to be a broadcaster. <laughs> Let's get a job right now. Yeah, no, it doesn't happen. Exactly. Like you have that. to have, like, a bachelor's degree for that particular field, yeah. like broadcast media. So, like, I can't go into the news field with a bachelor's in psychology. Mm -hmm. Like, it it's just won't work. So, in some jobs, you have to depend on your degree, just like nursing. You have to depend on those degrees. You have to get your certificates. You have to be certified. So, college, you need it. You need that diploma and everything. Yeah. And sometimes, what did we talk about last night? Sometimes you have to take a pay cut to get to where you, you need to, to be. be. Yes. Because people would tell you, because I had, okay, I'm going to talk about a little bit about when I first interned. Okay. Because I've interned with a news station and I had people tell me, because I wasn't getting paid for what I did, they were like, well, why'd you do that? You need to begin the paycheck. And I thought, first I thought to myself, why are you concerned? Are you going <laughs> to cut me a check? Are you going to cut me a share from your bank account? I don't <laughs> think so. But, I mean, if you're going to do that, hey, why not? I would love a you check. You're going to pay my bills? You're going to pay my bills? You know, hey, I, I would love that. But, <laughs> hey, okay, but, like, so my thing was for them, you know, it doesn't really matter it doesn't it doesn't matter like because I'm here trying to do what I need to do for myself because I'm getting the experience I need now so when I do get paid for my work I have it covered exactly just like for us to do this show we don't get paid for no. it but hey like in the future like if we want to have like an old TV show or anything we'll have the experience right so right. That helps out too. And if people are bothered by us not getting paid, feel free. You know, we can give you our bank account information. Yeah, I you can start a GoFundMe anytime you know? and put some money in that, or you can pay me through Snapchat. Right. Anything. Something. But you know, like like I said, you just you just kind of have to do your own thing. And um, I want to also stress again, you know, always make sure you're doing what you want to do, do what you want to do if you're going to be in college. Do not be here because you feel like this is what mom wants me to do, this is what dad wants me to do. And don't do it for the money either. You have to be happy in what you're doing. So if you are doing it, if you want to be an accountant, just because, you know, accountants make great money and, you know, your heart is not there and your heart is in, you know, in the biology field or here in the communications field of theater, don't do that. Like, you wasting your time and you wasting you wasting money as well. Exactly. And I'm actually happy you said that because when I was going to major in communications, I was telling people, oh, I'm doing communication. I was like, why won't you do business or why won't you do nursing? Like, it's just, I'm like, that's not what I want to do. Mm -hmm. And if it's not what I want to do, I know I would just fail all those classes because, you know, my heart is not in it. Yeah, like, this is exactly. where our heart belongs exactly. into the communication department. So you can't listen to outside people, even like some of the family members. Because most of yeah. like my family was like, why won't you do this? Why won't you do that? No, that's not for me. This is for me. And a lot and you and a lot of times you find people who are telling you how you should do things, they're not happy in their life. <laughs> they're not. They're not That's happy in their life. They are just doing something maybe because their parents told them they are good at this or they may be following the checks or just they didn't know what they wanted to do. 
So while we're talking about this to you guys, is we want you guys to just, you know, be in your zone. Don't worry about all the other stuff. Don't worry about the money because, like I said earlier, you can make money, but if you're not doing what you need to do to get where you need to be, it doesn't mean anything. Exactly. Those were some good points. But we must take a quick break. But when we return, we will have a whole panel of sorority and fraternity members here to give us some insight about Greek life. So stay tuned. You're watching SKP. Parked far, far away from your class? Well, you could walk the whole way, or you could use the P pickup. It's a free ride around campus for APSU students, faculty, and staff. You can ride the trolley from 7.30 in the morning until 4.30 in the afternoon, Monday through Friday. For more information, go to apsu.edu slash SGA. A campus and community reminder from the Voice of Austin P, Clarksville's 91.9 FM. Hey there everyone and welcome back. Korea and I are so excited today. We have a few friends here from Greek Life. We have LaMarcus Day here with Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity. We have Celeste Malone here from Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority. And we have Andrew Parker here from Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity. So LaMarcus, you and I go way back. And I guess I'll start with you. I'll start with you since I know you the most. <laughs> but uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and what year you are. Um, where are you from, and what made you choose Greek life? <clears throat> All right, well, my name is Marcus Day. I'm a junior at Austin Peay State University. I'm a criminal justice major, um, minor in family studies, and my focus is homeland security. Um, heavily involved here at Austin Peay campus, do a lot. But Greek life was actually the first thing that I dived right into when coming to Austin P. Why is that? Um, I wanted to go Greek because I wanted to be a part of something, of course, that was bigger than myself. I wanted to get that brotherhood, wanted to get that, you know, I wanted to serve the community like I do now. Mm -hmm. So I knew going Greek, one, this is bigger than myself. Uh -huh. Two, they serve the community. I do this on a you know day to day basis, doing what I need to do to not just help myself but help others. Right, right. And three, being involved on campus, having that platform to do more and more each day. Do you find your Do you find that you grew? Most, most definitely. And how so? Um, just from high school to college, that <clears throat> that transition is growing. But for me, going Greek to now. Like, it's taught me so much. Just my leadership abilities and my skills, you know, being the president of my organization. Oh, wow, that's then, good. Oh, yeah, that you is. know, then to just getting involved on campus, being an ambassador, being the face of the university, getting people to come to Austin P, just stuff like that has just grown. You know, it's had to step outside my comfort zone and be more than I, were bef that I was before. Right, right. So what about you, Celeste? Like, um, tell us a little bit about you. So actually, I graduated back in May. I am a uh, graduate student here. I now work at the African American Cultural Center on campus where I uh, serve as their graduate assistant. Um, I was interested in Greek life. Um, I crossed, well, I went into my Greek organization when I was um, a junior. Um, it was fall 15. Um, it was really interesting. I got to meet a ton of amazing women. I really wanted to just make a make a large difference on campus. Um, ever since I have been a part of my organization, I have elevated, I have been on 
I'm now one of the highest um, scholarships per students on campus with my position as editor in chief of the Allstate. Um, I, mean, I would not have known about that opportunity if it had not been for um, Greek life and knowing who I know through um, through my organization. So that is really good. Yeah, yeah. I'm happy for you. <laughs> yeah, and also too, you are a non-traditional student, right? Um, not necessarily. I think I was. Um, I I had a little flub back in the day. Okay, okay. Um, I, I had a. <laughs> I just, I, I went to an internship a little bit early, and so it kind of threw off my track. Um, I, I didn't necessarily know exactly where I wanted to be, what I wanted to do, so I had that thought of wanting to just not continue, like you guys were saying earlier. Um, I didn't want to finish school. I didn't want to be a part of anything. I was just like, know what, I'm done with this. But um, when I saw that this organization was um, returning to campus, I knew that this was something I needed to do to um, bring me back and help me realize my worth and my um, purpose here on this campus. And I can honestly say I've definitely found it um, with this organization for sure. Okay, good, good. So what about you, Andrew? Tell us a little bit about you, um, what year you are and everything. My name is Andrew Parker. I am a senior. I will graduate in December, thank God. <laughs> December, um, like a couple of months from yes. now? Yes. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Congratulations that's on that. That's why he happy to be here. I'm ready to get up out of here. Um, <laughs> it's been a great journey, though. Um, I'm a PR major with a, a minor in event planning, a uh, member of Kappa Alpha Psi. Uh, I guess I go on a more personal level. Uh, my granddaddy was a member of Kappa Alpha Psi, mm -hmm. and uh, he died back in 2012 from Alzheimer's. And the bond that I saw, his brothers always come to the house and, you know, just spend time with him, talk to him, even though he, my granddaddy, grandfather really just didn't, just didn't have the, mem the memory to, you know, recognize them. They still came. Mm -hmm. And I was like, man, this is something I want to do. I see the bond between them. You know, but um, I didn't jump right into a cap officer when I got to uh, college. I was in Scholars, Ladies and Gentlemen. I was in the NAACP. I'm the president of the Mazan College Ministry here. Mm -hmm. uh, I was um, in Comfort and Couture modeling uh, organization. So I've done a lot of a plethora of things that uh, um, that are, like get me out there, get me more networking skills, you know. And so basically, w once I joined Cap Officer, it helped me grow with patience and responsibility yeah. because I'm the treasurer of my fraternity oh, really? so that's a big responsibility yeah. and knowing that I have that responsibility is like like you know it makes me feel more responsible and patience it just when you're dealing with a lot of individuals with different personalities and different backgrounds you just you know you have to come together as one and that's what that brotherhood has brought right so yeah. for all of you guys you just mentioned something about getting to work with everyone and getting to, you know, go through with people from all different backgrounds. How does it help you guys out with that? Um, well, I can personally say um, with, um, with what I have to do with the Allstate and what I have to do with the organization, I'm having to deal with people from all over the community of Clarksville. So okay. it doesn't know, I, I, sometimes it doesn't make sense at first when you meet them and you're just like well why do they act this way but sometimes you have to do some soul searching and look into yourself and be like you know what they are different from me they walk in different shoes than I do mm -hmm. so I really have to take the time to understand and know and grow and learn how they do what they do so that's one thing that I've learned how to handle good point good yeah. point. that is that yeah. really is well, we must take a quick break but when we return we'll be right back with our guests
You can help support Austin Peay students who don't have enough to eat by donating to the Save Our Students Food Pantry. The Save Our Students Food Pantry is looking for soup, pasta, canned meat, canned beans, peanut butter, and fruit. You can drop off your donations at the Food Pantry on Home Avenue. It's open Tuesdays through Friday, 8.30 until 4. For more information, call 221-1620. A campus reminder from Austin P. Hey, you all. I would like to know what do you guys do in your organizations? How do you guys get involved and off campus? Also, what kind of events do your organization host on campus? So, LaMarcus, we'll start with you. All righty. Um, what kind of events do my organization has? Well, Alpha Phi Alpha, we have events all over the range spectrum of things. So we have social events, we have forums, we have informational events just about different topics and stuff that's just going on in the world. Um, specifically, you know, one social event that we had this semester, we have every year, Feast with the Greeks. You know, just a big cookout for everyone on campus, free food. Um, however, just as a whole, I can speak for MPHC. This um, an event that we do have coming up, as you all may or may not know, we do have homecoming next week. Mm -hmm. So every cool. year, annually, um, we have a step show. So this year, it's October 21st, next Saturday. MPHC step show consists of all of our Divine Nine organizations. Mm -hmm. Step in, stroll in, it's just a good time. Oh. Um, I'm gonna have to get out there. Let's yeah, I'm gonna get out there. Uh, I'm gonna have to get out there. Can we I have, get come, in there too? Come on, come on. We have uh, about two, about, 2,000 or more people come out every year and attend the foy. Um, this year starts at 7.30, doors open at 6.30. Uh, for students, that do, students, we do get discounts for going, so $10 tickets for students. Uh, Non-students, $15. Uh, so get your tickets in advance. We do have them now. Where can we but, buy those um, tickets at? Yeah. You can get those tickets. You can find any MPHC member, get you a $10 ticket. Or if you can't find an MPHC member, you can go to uh, Stephen Dominique's office and Fraternity and Sorority Affairs, which is in the UC. Okay. Maybe so. I can might, may get another discount. I'll probably pay like $5 yeah. worth of mm -hmm. yeah. you know. <laughs> <laughs> Work something out. <laughs> 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 That's so funny. That's so funny. And, okay, so what do you guys do off campus? I know you guys do some things off campus as well, right? Or do you guys try to recruit people as, you know, you know new college students? How does it work? Um, so I guess as far as events off campus, I helped coordinate the um, – the Burt Elementary School um, day that we go, we so that means we go to Burt right around the corner from here, right across the street from the uh, comm center, and we have, um, basically we go and we discuss Martin Luther King. It's always on Martin Luther King Day every year. Um, we go and we teach um, these students and these and these kids um, about what he has done, his purpose, what um, what he stood for um, when he was here on earth, and the types of things that he emulated. And we wanted to make sure that these students know. Um, really just know what he has done for um, for America and and just and just kind of it's just it's a beautiful moment to see everybody in there talking to kids telling them you know you're worth something and you know what he would say that you're worth something and you see us coming in we're, we're in college some of us didn't even think we'd be here right now mm -hmm. and you have and you get to go and you get to show these kids like hey um, this is what we do um, in our organizations um, within as far as like the recruitment process we just kind of we just Sometimes we just have interest meetings. It's a very diff it's a very different from um, Penn Hellenic or um, Interfraternal Council, um, but we do have a big con convocation in the middle and in the beginning of the semester, so in fall and spring. And so once we do that, um, the the students that come they kind of seek out the organizations that they're interested in. Mm -hmm. um, they also uh, go to events that we host. Um, we usually have them you know posted all over campus on our Instagrams, our social media. Um, this that you know this different things like that so that's how that works and okay. i know what another um how you can get involved like doing orientations i know y'all have like the little signed up booths like that was mm -hmm. awesome too because yeah. i know for orientation i was like i was in my mind like what where do i find out about greek life and i was walking down then i seen a little table set i was like sign my name right there <laughs> 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 my little email right there like so how much time does it take because Corinne just said she saw it so how much time does it take for you guys to prepare for that uh, well, I guess I'll take that one. <laughs> um, <laughs> so basically, uh, everyone has a, a different position. Yeah. Uh, we'll, okay. We will appoint different people to do different things because everybody has a busy schedule. Yes. Everybody has school yeah. work. People have jobs. And, you know, it, it just it just takes time. So basically, it depends. Say, say for instance, uh, we have an event next month. 
So we'll probably start planning for it like now because like you never know what's gonna happen. We have to back up plans mm -hmm. and anything like that. Anything can happen. Right. So we always have to stay on our P's and Q's for you know those you know those things to happen <laughs> basically. And yeah. so you minor in event planning, so event they come planning, and see yeah, my basically. minor is event planner too. Yeah. So y'all keep that in mind. Planning anything, I'm your girl. Okay. <laughs> gotcha. That's, that gotcha. goes for all the fraternities and sororities. Event planning. Yeah. You can get out there too. Well, I, I mean, you know, I can try to. <laughs> you know, I like to just get out there, yeah. you know. So my next question for you guys is, if you had to describe one thing that you could take away from your fraternity and sorority, what would it be? It's a broad <laughs> question. Well, it's, it's, it is. Um, <laughs> so you answer how you want to answer it. Mm. What would you take away from it? I think I'll let, you know, the lady go first. Oh, ladies. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say do it that um, way. Yeah. So what I would say about my organization specifically is um, simply elegance. Um, we hold ourselves to higher uh, moral and ethical standards. Um, we have many people um, and many women that are um, that are CE CEOs and COOs of these companies. Like recently, one of um, one of our members, her name was Sora Roz. She um, is now the CE COO of Starbucks Corporation. Yeah, so what wow. we did as an organization is go in and everybody ordered a Starbucks drink with her name on it and showed it on our social media. And it was just so classy. It was so professional. It was a beautiful way to show our sisterhood and show the things that we are that we're capable of and how many of us really are in the world. You know, it was just it was just classy and it was beautiful and I absolutely loved every moment that I spend um, as a member of this org in this organization. So for sure. Yeah, that's yeah. Good. Uh, I go next, I guess. Uh, our takeaway is loyalty, basically mm -hmm. because you know Colin Kaepernick is a member of Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated and we stand behind him and you know with all the police brutality going on and you know, our fraternity was founded at a PWI back in 1911. That's, so that's very, you know, important then to be here at a PWI as well. You know, we stand behind each other, you know, have each other's back no matter what. So that's why I say loyalty. And um, I would say a broad word such as leadership, because when I think about the men who paved the way for me to be a member of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. Um, my Seven Jewels founding, founding this organization in 1906. Back then, it wasn't easy. We, you know, my organization, we were the first black Greek letter organization on any campus. So being that we were the first, we led the way. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we, we paved the way for, you know, other things, but Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., he's a brother for Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. Thurgood Marshall, W.E.B. Du Bois, all these people who came along to let me, you know, stand where I stand. Now that I have it, I have to do what I have to do to maintain who I am, be that leader, always be, you know, lead the way, you know, allow people to have something to look forward to. So it's something you guys take internally and personally, and that's great. That's great. That's great. That's really that's great. great. So you guys have been so informative, and we thank you guys for coming to the show today. For our viewers, if you guys would like to get involved and join Greek life, feel free to go to the APSU website or go to APSU Fraternity and Sorority Affairs in the UC on the second floor. We'll be right back with more of SKP.
tuning in with us today. Remember to follow us on our social media page, Stephen Korean Perspectives, on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to get the latest update on our show. Again, thanks for watching. And also on our social media page, you can find a picture of our crew because our show wouldn't be possible without our crew. Absolutely, it would not be. And we, we just want to say we thank you guys so much. I mean, so much. Yeah. We're yeah. truly thankful. And if I won a lottery like a million dollars, I would get all y'all like $3,000 a piece. <laughs> like, I would I would pay you all. I would make a nice dinner and everything. Y'all won't have to worry about anything. And I think, I feel like people don't realize, like, we, we're coming to you guys, but there's a crew behind us. It's not just us. Yeah. Without you guys behind the scenes and without our viewers there is no us yes and they're dedicated they're here every thursday for our show and what did you think about our guest today I oh guess. i love it i wish we could have y'all on every episode like y'all come once a month or <laughs> something like that'd be so awesome because giving us the information about greek life was so awesome because i thought about greek life so we all gonna have to get together don't forget my mind is event planning so I can help y'all out <laughs> <laughs> and always remember too well, wait, 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 we got to we got to end like that. We got to end together. Okay, we got this. Okay. One, two, three. Let's, Let's go, go pee. pee. We tried. We yeah. tried. We tried. <laughs>